about Indiana is it's, it's a really a state of opportunity and possibility. If there's not something that you want here, you make it. Ukrainians are building lives here in the Hoosier state while still paying tribute to home. Today is a Ukrainian holiday celebrated around the world to preserve the country's clothing, culture, people and history. This year, there's even more to be proud of as Ukrainian soldiers fight against the Russian invasion. WRTV's Kayla Molander shows us how a local group celebrated the holiday and what it means for Ukrainian Hoosiers. If we don't celebrate our culture, our history, if we don't affirm ourselves as Ukrainians, then what are Ukrainians are even fighting for and dying for? Svetlana Raymer is the president of the Ukrainian Society of Indiana. Today she is wearing her Vishivanka. After all, it's Vishivanka Day. A Vishivanka is a traditional embroidered Ukrainian shirt. An embroidery has traditionally been a really big craft in Ukrainian culture. Each color has a symbol. Each region of Ukraine has its own pattern on the shirts that represents it. It's usually about love, death fertility uh, of the land, uh, honoring the ancestors. So each different design has some symbolism behind it. The Ukrainian Society of Indiana gathered on Thursday, all wearing their Vishivanka as a part of the worldwide holiday. Even Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky donned a Vishivanka for a national address on Facebook. Brave and free Ukraine. Happy Vishivanka Day. This year, the lighthearted day is taking on a deeper meaning, a symbol of resistance to the Russian invasion. Nearly three months into the war, Ukrainian Vitaly Kirik says this day is needed. It's a little piece of shining light because it's, it's a way for us to uh, have something happy, uh, dress up, celebrate, get together, and uh, talk about Ukrainian heritage, culture. But the holiday isn't the only light Kirik sees on the horizon. He says he's recently begun to feel optimistic about the situation on the ground. I think initially the, the world didn't think Ukraine would stand this ground as, as much as we did and within the first few weeks we proved that we can stand up for Russia. It's not surprising at all. Ukraine has been withstanding Russian oppression for centuries. We know what's at stake so we are not surprised of how hard people are fighting against it. Working for you, Kayla Molander, WRTV. Today, the U.S. Senate approved $40 billion in aid for Ukraine. The measure would help support military and humanitarian efforts. It passed the House earlier this month and now goes to President Biden for his signature.